Hello, my name is Alex Josh, and I'm an architect in the Microsoft Business Unit at NetApp. Today, we're going to be talking about rapid provisioning using the new On Command Plugin 3.0 for Microsoft Environments. What we're going to see today is integration with Opala Server. We have Opala here, and we have a simple workflow that's integrated with System Center Service Manager. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire that up in a test console just so we can see it running. So what we've done is we've created a monitor object that's waiting for a service request ticket to come in from System Center Service Manager. System Center Service Manager is Microsoft's ticketing system. And what we've done is we've created a custom form that allows us to request a VM. It's based on the change request form, which you see here, which is a standard form that comes with System Center Service Manager. However, what's new is we've created our own little form here that allows us to request a VM and specify things like the VM base name, the class of the VM, the target server for the VM, and the number of VMs that you want to have created. We did this with the toolkit that comes with System Center Service Manager. So in this case, what's happening is this help desk or an end user requests the VM, and then the ticket is then issued to Opala Server. Opala Server then initiates a clone operation, and we can see here the clone operation has already begun running on the physical, and actually this is a server that's running within a, a cluster. And this operation will take a few seconds, and basically what we're doing is we're doing a sub lun clone. We're cloning the file uh, Win2K win uh, uh, R2, and that is a master copy that's a sysprep file. And as you can see, it's 133 gigabytes in size. So this operation will take a few seconds, and it'll allow us to make an exact copy of that file. Now, it wasn't really uh, obvious there, perhaps, but what we're doing is we're actually cloning a file within a clustered shared volume. And now that is complete. So the next step is then to call a system, a system Center Virtual Machine Manager and then instruct System Center Virtual Machine Manager to create a new VM. Now the payload for that VM is actually the VHD file which we, which we uh, cloned in the previous step. So as you see here, System Center is doing its job. And if we click back, you'll see that the service is actually created, but the VM is not yet running. And this is because the System Center Virtual Machine Manager is still configuring the VM. So it'll take a few seconds here, but eventually we'll have a running VM. Uh, the, the, the step to actually create the VM is already completed, as you can see. What's happening now is the customization of the VM. And actually, this entire process takes about 10 minutes. Um, but through the magic of video, we've compressed this time. Uh, but uh, just so that you know that there's no smoke and mirrors here, you can see the time ticking by at the top. And you'll see that the start time of the operation was 3 minutes, 16 seconds. and Sorry, 3 hours, 3 o'clock was 16 minutes and 53 seconds. So remember that. So now we're fast forwarding a little bit here, and we see that we have this uh, job one uh, from SCVMM, which was the job that we listed. And if we click connect um, in the UI, uh, we'll see that start setup is running. So setup takes a few seconds to run, and this is the natural uh, Windows experience that occurs uh, when you run a sysprep VM. We just wanted to show you this is a real sysprep VM. So now we fast forward it a little bit more, and you'll see that the job started at 316 and ended at 325. So it's about we'll call it 10 minutes end-to-end uh, -end operation, including clone time. Uh, now this is the running VM, and uh, which we showed you before. We, we just switched back to that same view. But just to show you that the machine was actually created and customized, you'll see that the machine name is actually job1, which if you remember back to the very first step, job1 was actually the name that we specified um, in System Center Service Manager. So, that's the conclusion of our demonstration. Um, thank you very much uh, for listening, and uh, we'll see you again soon.